I'm Rob Kistner. I'm the founder and president of the Digital Arts Experience. The idea for the Digital Arts Experience uh, came out of uh, my experiences as a kid interested in technology. Uh, my background is in digital media production with a focus on audio recording technology. I managed recording studios, I was a recording engineer and got involved in a lot of different projects. And I got interested in that at a really young age. Uh, I believe I got my first four track cassette recorder when I was um, about 13 years old, 12 or 13 years old, and I quickly uh, became very passionate about music recording technology. A and I got, uh, I, I became interested in pursuing that as a career as I started to go through high school. And uh, one of the major issues is I had nowhere to go to experience the technology and what the industry is like hands on. Uh, my only option was to internet recording studios and being so young in a professional recording environment, the only opportunity I had uh, was to sit in the corner and make coffee and not speak until someone spoke to me first. Um, and it wasn't until my sophomore year of college that I actually was able to uh, really start to work hands on with equipment. Uh, and th that's an issue going from 13 to say 19 without getting a real hands-on experience with this technology. So Digital Arts Experience was created to give kids at a young age access to as close to professional technology as we can provide so they not only can develop real world skills but explore different industries, explore different areas of study and really find out what their passions are. So. Um, the Digital Arts Experience has a really diverse course catalog. Uh, everything from digital music production to animation to 3D printing, you name it, if you can do it with technology and it's creative, we can teach it. Um, but right now, we're finding that there's a, a massive amount of interest in computer programming, 3D printing and design, uh, as well as animation. Um, and we're also getting very heavily into um, electronics with Arduino, which combines uh, the physical world of computing with the digital world of programming, which is pretty exciting. So when the digital arts experience first opened, uh, we had a lot of space and not a lot of students. And that was a really challenging thing, um, you know, because what, we're, what we were trying to do, in our opinions, was pretty amazing. And it was really hard to get other people to kind of realize what we were trying to do. So the biggest difference is uh, now we're just absolutely loaded with students. We've got students of all ages doing an incredible amount of work. Uh, the student work that comes out of here is just unbelievable, it never ceases to amaze any of us. Um, and the other major difference is when we first started we had a real focus on creative fields. Music production, graphic design, computer drawing, and we've sort of shifted gears. We still do a lot of that, but we've added to our curriculum uh, really heavy uh, computer programming course catalog, very, very diverse programs, intro to electronics with Arduino, 3D printing. So we've combined a little bit more, I would say, techie fields with the creative field. Um, the other major difference as well is uh, about a year ago, a year or so ago, um, schools started reaching out to us asking to have us come in and offer our programs at their location. And that's not something we had originally thought of doing. And uh, it started with one school, one school became two, two became four, and now between Monday and Friday, I think we're doing something like 25 classes off-site. Um, so we're really, our resources are split. We're doing 50% offsite and 50% onsite, which is pretty exciting. And it's led us to create the Digital Arts Express, which is our amazing cutting edge mobile computer lab. The future of the digital arts experience is an interesting one because there's a lot of different things that we could do. Um, you know, for one thing, digital arts experience has a huge focus on supporting the community. For example, we do a lot of work with the White Plains Youth Bureau. Um, we've done, I can't even remember how many programs with them. We always give scholarships to their kids for the summer. And that's something we're going to continue to do and build relationships within the community. Um, as far as expansion goes, we really have two different paths we could follow, which is we could create another digital arts experience location. Or given the success of Digital Arts Express, uh, we could actually build more of them and start to expand to other territories, which would be really interesting. In fact, we're working with an organization now to possibly offer some of our programming out on Long Island using our truck because we can take all of our technology, our curriculum, basically take our classroom anywhere. Um, so that's really the crossroads that we're at, and it's an interesting, um, 
that's kind of a hard question to answer because I don't really know and I don't necessarily want to advertise that but um, but uh, you know one of the major things I want to keep in mind for the future of the digital arts experience is to always be on the cutting edge always be expanding our programming um, offer new programming for younger students and more advanced programs for our veteran students that have gone through a lot of our classes uh, to allow them to continue to build their skills. Once a student has taken one or two of our classes, they've got a whole bunch of projects that they can now put in a portfolio to help them get into college or help them get a job or however it might benefit them in the future. A and it's our goal to continue to give them the opportunity to build upon their skills rather than plateau.